I'm Nate. And I'm Frank. And we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. All students need to clean out their lockers and turn in their computer, chargers, and bags before leaving for the summer. There are two opportunities to turn in your computers. If you do not need your computer for your G3 and G4 final exams next Thursday, you may turn in your computer next Wednesday during lunch periods. If you do need it next Thursday, the other computer turn-in time is after your G4 exams in the cafeteria. If you are taking summer school, you will receive your computer back on June 3rd when you arrive in the morning. Now to Frank for today's clubs and sports. Thanks, Nate. The chess club will meet today after school in the art room. Contact Ms. Quigley with any questions. The STEM club will also meet today after school in room 5. Contact Ms. Smith with any questions. Some Sassina students made history this year by starting the school's first black student union. They're holding a call-out meeting on Thursday during WIN in, the, in room 220. Come find out what the new club is all about. In Sassina sports, the boys' golf team placed fourth in the conference meet yesterday. Noah Staczynski earned all-conference honors after shooting an 84. The varsity baseball team lost a close one 8-6 to, to New Palestine. Tonight, the girls' track team will compete in the sectional meet at Warren Central at 5.30. The baseball team will host Speedway at 5.30. The softball team will host Monrovia also at 5.30. Good luck, Crusaders. In other sports news, any girl interested in playing golf in the fall should attend a short call meeting tomorrow right after school in room 219. Please see Coach Schroeder if you have any questions or cannot attend. Outside of Cecina, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever play their first regular season game on the road to Connecticut tonight. The Pacers will play in Game 5 at New York tonight with a chance to take the series lead. Now back to Nate for more news. Now for a verse of the day. This one is from 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 27. It says, At noon, Elijah began to taunt them. Shout louder, he said. Surely he is a god. Perhaps he is deep in thought or busy or traveling. Maybe he is sleeping and must be awakened. So this was when Elijah the prophet was involved in a contest to see... Um, oh my god, bro. So this was when Elijah the prophet was involved in a contest with worshippers of Baal to see whose god would light the fire to sacrifice a bull on the altar. Yeah, and when the Baal worshippers were crying out to Baal to light the fire and nothing happened, Elijah openly mocked them. It seems he was trying to make a point that their supposed god was only as powerful as they were. Yeah, Elijah knew only the true God would light the fire, and that's what happened. Now let's go to Venice for today's forecast. Thanks, Nate. It'll be much cooler today with a high of 67. Rain and possible storms are likely this afternoon and again later tonight. Tomorrow, we'll see a high around 70 with mostly cloudy skies. It'll be warm again on Thursday with a high of 78 with more clouds. Come back to the studio for more news. Thanks, Venice. It's nice out today, minus the rain. Yeah, I'm not, a fan. Warm. I'm not a fan of the rain, but it's whatever. Yeah. Now for our lunch menu today. Today we'll have chicken quesadilla with corn. Tomorrow it'll be hamburger or cheeseburger with green beans. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. Now let's see who's celebrating birthday. Bah. Happy birthday, 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 oh yeah. Enjoy your day, Crusaders. That's it for today's Wedding Bull Show. Stay classy and give that little extra.